Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I decided to do a let's play because I know I'm not gonna get uh, pretty good at YouTube just playing Call of Duty. Now I didn't start off right from the beginning. I wanted to get all situated so you guys don't see me walking around getting some grass and trees or whatever. If you're new to the game, then uh, I'll try to do a new one. Like you'll see it in one of the next videos where I do the uh, girl, the fire starter. So when I go up to, um, now you're not, I'm not gonna tell you. But as you can see, that little dog following me is Chester. You get him from getting the eye bone. Now, the map that I just spawned in, actually, I spawned in with, like, three chests, and a chest had one, and it had all the stuff that I'm wearing and all the equipment. So Chester's pretty much acts like a chest. You get to store stuff in him, and he follows you around. But be careful with the bees, because <laughs> they kill him, and I lost all my stuff because I didn't know where he was. Now the whole game is about survival, pretty much. You like, like at night you gotta make a fire or else you'll go insane and die, or like, you get killed by animals and all that. Now, so I apologize if like the mic is like getting all bloated out whenever I talk or like breathe. But my mic has a problem like that, even though I put it way far away from my mouth, it happens, I'm sorry. But trust me, it'll finish it. Now at this point, most of you might get blurry because the way I was fixing the screen and the water, I was trying to test it out to see if it would stop, but no. But right now, I'm not going to talk the whole video because it's a pretty long video. And I kind of want you guys to get the feel for the game without me interrupting you the whole time. Like you guys can learn on your own, but I'll, I'll butt in a couple times and all that. Like yeah, if you want to know what I'm doing right now. Like right now, I think I'm about to make a fire. I'm just put take out a, ch a torch right now because I have to like go get some uh, wood. I'm pretty sure that's what I was doing. Yeah, because you need to make an axe. It, the game kind of plays out like Minecraft, but it's not just zombies. Like, this thing's, this thing's called Beefalo. And they just exactly like Buffalo, but they have red butts. <laughs> and I think around here I lose my Chester and it pisses me off. Like, they're Beefalo. They have like. There's a whole. Like, a bunch of different. And this game. Different, um. You know. Enemies. But. If, if you really want this game, it's only $15. I mean, all you gotta do, ask your mom, say, hey, can I borrow $15 off your credit card or PayPal? Or just get a card, it don't matter. But it's a worth your $15. I mean, I'm already addicted. Now, the point of the game, there's like, there's like kind of a story in the beginning, which I'm not gonna spoil it if you guys wanna find out yourself. But if, if you wanna find out, I'll just tell you now. If you don't want to, just skip it. It's only like once, it's only gonna be like three seconds, anyway. So like pretty much you're making something as a scientist and like this guy on the radio tells you to do something. Then he tells you to this area. Then you pretty much have to do, just survive, see how many days you can survive up to. But there's these things called touchstones. If you go to it, it pretty much acts like the bed from Minecraft. When you die, you spawn on it. But like, you have to make sure you find another one once you die. Or the second time you die. So, like, find two. Because so once you die after that, there's no more respawning. You're dead. Then it gives you all the XP. Then you unlock new characters. And also, the, you have to, um... Get blueprints. And if you see the little science looking icon on the left in the middle for the selections. On top of the two swords. That's a uh, machine, a science machine. And that gives you um, more availability to create stuff like a boomerang or all that. Now as you can see I lost my Chester. So now I'm just collecting boards. No, there he is. Never mind. I thought I'd lose him later. And so I'm just keep on looking inside and looking at all that stuff. Now I spawned in the bee farm. That's how I got all that bee stuff. Now when it goes to dark like this you really need like a campfire. But I, I took out a torch because I didn't really have anything. And you do freeze most of the time if you don't have a fire. And when winter comes, which is in 20 days, so 20 days of summer, 20 days of winter, you really need like um a vest, which I get in a couple of videos later. Um, you need a beard. So if you're playing as the science guy that I'm playing with right now, keep the beard. Do not shave it with the uh, knife you can make. Keep it because it keep you warm and you will not die. Now, if the, if you're having trouble with your heart trying to like get your heart um rate up well not heart rate but um your health there we go that's what i meant um drink um you gotta eat a couple of uh, 
petals, flower petals, but don't eat all of them because your insanity, which is your brain that has an arrow pointing down or up, you need those to like help you. Then you can always make a hat, like a flower hat, but it lasts only for like 20 days, I think. Because when I had it, like the green kept on going down for some reason. But like I said, this game is kind of like Minecraft. There's really not much I can explain, but if I see something that needs some explaining, I'll tell you, like, right now, I was freaking out because my torch was gonna go out and it's the middle of the night. But, so I had to light the tree on fire because I was getting scared. But once I did that, the sun came up and I thought that, like, I summoned something. <laughs> like, I felt okay after that because I didn't think anything would kill me. I saw my chester. And whenever the day comes back, you save. Now, and now I'm just gonna stop talking and let you guys enjoy the video. Um... I'm not sure if I'm gonna add some music, some of that Share Factory music. I have to use Share Factory because I don't have an Elgato yet. But I'm working on it, trust me. But it's a definite yes. So, I'll be posting an unboxing of that whenever I get it. But I will. Alright, so now I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the video. And I, 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 I'm gonna put um, music in the next one if I'm not talking. It's like slow music, I don't know. Like nothing like to like rock. Like I use in the trick shot in the in my fail video. But anyway, I thought that this was a good idea to do a let's play other than Call of Duty. So that's less hate in the world for the comment section world. Because I know there's a lot of hate with people who play all Call of Duty. Like I only used to be, you know what, no. I'm not going to talk about other YouTubers. Nope, I learned. Okay. Like I don't hate the guy though. I mean, I think he's a pretty good player. But now people, I've read comments, and they just they just don't like his Call of Duty channel. Now he plays other things on his other channel, which I'm not gonna say either. But you get you guys get the point. So I decided to do a let's play. I'll possibly do more. I'll probably just play this game. Like it's gonna be a montage. Now I was thinking of doing the clan war for Platinum Division, but none of the clan was all being douches, so I didn't really feel like it. Now, I'm going to be done talking, and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the video. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good day.